The next step here in solving quadratic equations is trying to do it using what we call completing the square method. And what that means is we want to rearrange the equation in such a way that we end up with something that looks like this on the left side of the equation, which is a perfect square of a binomial. So that's what we're trying to do. In order to get there, we need to go through a series of steps. The first step is to make sure that the number in front of the x squared term is equal to a 1. If it's not equal to a 1, like in this case, we want to divide both sides of the equation by that coefficient, by that number, which means we're going to divide the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. So when we divide the 2 into each of the three terms, we get x squared minus 4x minus 45 equals 0. All right, the next step is to move the constant term over to the right side of the equation. So that means we get x squared minus 4x, and the minus 4 moves across, that becomes a positive 45 on the right side of the equation. The next step is we want to now add some constant to both sides of the equation, so that this becomes a perfect square, which then can be written like something like that. To do that, we take this term right here, divide it by 2, and square it, and add it to both sides. So let me illustrate a different color. We take the minus 4, divide it by 2, and square it, and add that to both sides of the equation. All right, minus 4 divided by 2, that is equal to uh, minus 2. We have to square that, and a minus 2 squared is equal to a 4, which means we need to add 4 to both sides of the equation. By having done that, the left side is now a perfect square that can be written like, the, like that, the square of a binomial. And if you look at that, we can actually factor this, and this can now be written as an x minus 2 squared, and on the right side, that is equal to a 49. Okay, we can now take the square root of both sides, because if we take the square root of both sides, then this becomes a x minus 2, and if we take the square root of both sides here, that becomes a plus or minus 7. So we write this as x minus 2 equals plus or minus 7. Now we write the minus 2 on the other side, so we move the minus 2 to the right side of the equation. This becomes x is equal to plus or minus 7 plus 2. And that means that x equals, if we take the positive option of the solution, 7 plus 2, which is 9, or if we take the negative option of the solution, x equals minus 7 plus 2, which is equal to x equals minus 5. And there are the two solutions to the equation, or the two roots of the quadratic equation. If we can <clears throat> quickly check that using a different method, for example, if we take the factoring method over here, see what we get, x squared minus 4x minus 45 equals 0. And again, if we then factor this, it will have to look like an x and an x. A minus 45 can only be obtained by multiplying a positive and negative number together, so a positive and negative number. The two numbers multiplied together give me a 45. When I add them, I get a minus 4, which means the negative number is 4 bigger than the positive number. How about a minus 9 and positive 5? That will work. Minus 5, minus 9, positive 5, which means that x plus 5 must equal 0, or x minus 9 must equal 0, which means that x equals minus 5, or x equals a positive 9. And I bet that's exactly what we got here, so we know we did it correctly. Now you say, well, why should I do this method, which looks a whole lot more difficult than this method? Well, that's because not always can we use both the factoring method and the completion of the square method on a particular example. So this was chosen to make it a little bit easier to see how it's done, and we can double check our answers. But there are plenty of problems that cannot be solved by using factoring and can only be solved by using the completion of the square method, or, as we will see later, using the quadratic equation method. All right, let's do one more example of this so we get kind of a good feel for how to do the completion of the square method.